faster. They said, can he still hit as hard? I think he hits harder. And a uh, brilliant performance tonight. So good to see him back in the British ring. The atmosphere was incredible. Um, shout out to, of course, Amir and to Shah and the team and Joe, especially coming in at, what, four or five weeks' notice. Um, some uh, inspirational corridor talk as well on the way to the ring. I've not seen that before. It was, I was pumped. Yeah, I, mean, there. Yeah, I was there. I oh, was, I didn't know you that. You were there. You were in the zone. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that. Fantastic to have Amir back. Over to you guys for questions for Amir and Joe. Where does that rank, Amir, the, the performances so far? Um, you know, obviously it was, it was two years at the ring. Um, I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, it was... It was one of the best performances. I mean, performance-wise, it was a bad performance, but it's not like I, would, I beat a world champion. You know I mean, I know there's better fights out there for me, so this is another fight in the office uh, that we put in the bag, and, you know, just move on from here. Uh, I took all the experience out of this fight. It was just nice to um, train with Joe, who was the trainer, who was my new head trainer, so getting to know each other a little bit better. Also, Tony Brady, with all the conditioning that we did for the fight. So I know, you know, the team I have is just right. Um, Given that, given the hand of test, which was another thing, but I mean, the Greco come to win. Um, no, no disrespect. I mean, he had over ten weeks of training for this fight. He looked in good shape at the press, at the way at the press conference. He was very confident. So, um, you know, I, I thought probably one of the best, probably the best Le Greco that was to fight out there because normally he only gets like two, three weeks notice for fights. But um, we're back. The main thing is I'm back now, back with a big bang. And I want to mix in with the big names in boxing. And I think today I did send a statement, whoever they put in front of me, if I hit him with a shot like that, they would have gone down. So now it's time to kind of, me and Eddie sit down next week, hopefully, and see some big names out there and let's start getting them in. And who would you like to see next, I mean? Sorry? Who would you like to see next? Um, you know, the divisions, uh, the 147 divisions, amazing. Um, I, the weight I made for this fight was quite easy. Um, Making 147 is not a problem. There's some huge names that from the Thurman to, to Spences. Uh, there, there's world titles to be won in the welterweight division. So I'm just going to wait and see. I mean, it's always changing. But look, I'd like to fight Broner. Broner is now, he's going to be fighting tonight. So it'd be nice to see the winner of Broner and Vargas. I think that would be a good fight at 147. I mean, your best mate, Hellbrook, he was there. What did you feel about and you. Uh, you know what? It's uh, it, it, end of the box is a business, and Kells uh, he's a good fighter. You know, he, he he's at one fifty four. Like I said, I'm still campaigning at one four seven. When we when we sit down with Eddie, we know when the right choice move, move is going to be to one fifty four. Then or maybe a catch rate, then the fight's going to happen. But look, I'm not really scared. I think my 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 performance proves it. Uh, today, I'm not one to fight to ever be scared of anyone. If I went up to fight the likes of like Canelo, and and take his best shot, so you know. Someone like Kell Brook, I think um, it's always good to have that rivalry. And I think if it ever happens, it'll, it'll be big. But at the moment, um, <coughs> I want to sit with Eddie and see what my future is going to be. If it's going to be at 147, who the names are. I want to win a world title at 147 first yeah. before I start going up. So, you know, I'm still, uh, I feel at the peak of my career. Uh, like I was saying the other day, I feel better now than I was when I was 28. I've got speed, I've got explosiveness, I've got the power. You know, I'm still, uh, I feel at the peak of my career. Uh, like I was saying the other day, I feel better now than I was when I was 28. I've got speed, I've got explosiveness, I've got the power. And I think you guys saw it today. Awesome. Amir, Amir, that was the fastest knockout of your career, wasn't it? Dimitri, is that faster than Dimitri Slito? That was 71 uh, seconds, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so this is 39 seconds. That was the fastest. That is a big message for a combat fight. No, How do you feel? I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's levels in boxing and I knew that, um, well, I knew that it was going to be a tough fight against Le Greco, but I was a better fighter than him. Um, and if I used my skills, I fought better opposition. But, you know, he tried to get under my skin uh, at the press conference, and he thought that's his only way of beating me, you know, by getting under my skin. Um, I'm a lot wiser now, I'm older. I don't make the same mistakes I used to make. So it's all about just learning from those fights and getting better as a fighter. And I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning. And like I said, there's some big fights out there for me now. Uh, I know this was a quick stoppage. We didn't really, I didn't really get to spend much time in the ring, but I mean, I don't get paid for overtime, so I thought let's get over and done with. I can't be that one shot. I thought let's get him out. I mean, could you just give us a? Eddie mentioned the, the corridor talk there. Could you give us an insight into what was said that made you come out so fast? You know, um, Joe was very good at keeping me focused, uh, even in the ring. Uh, at times, he went, never, never wanted me to take my eye off my opponent, Le Greco, and 
you know, at times I was feeling uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, I've got, I've got George shouting in my ear saying, make sure you keep looking at him, go and take your eye off him. Uh, so yeah, um, but I think, you know, it's all mental, you know, and I'm at that level now where I know physically, um, I train like Tony, physically trains me uh, very good. Joe gets me in physical shape for boxing. The main thing is that mentally being right in the mind, you know, going into a fight mentally right. Um, that's where I used to go wrong, I used to let things get to me, I never was focused. Um, so I think what Joe's bringing to the table is also, also bringing that focus as well as bringing a good game plan for the fight. In the first fight in Britain for five years, what did you make of the, the reception you got when you came out? Oh, both fights. <laughs> Get a while ago, Joshua done first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is definitely the first bar in the moment. Joe, how was it for you? I'm here back in the ring and he looks splendid. I mean, credit to you. I spoke to you before the fight and we kind of had a chat and you predicted that, you know, he's you're working on things that he's not worked on before. I mean, when he came in the ring, I've never seen him. He looked in good shape. He looked really positive. I think that had a, a mental effect on La Greco because he looked a bit nervous and he just jumped all over him. You really got him worked in the right direction. How do you feel about that win? Well, there's a lot to digest in that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, first off, you know, we're, we're, I'm working with a superior athlete here. He's, he's, he's one of a kind. Um, and I saw that manifest itself in the gym. So I, I, I knew if, if we, and we didn't have a long time, of course, to train, but in that time, we really did pack a lot of training in that five weeks. And, you know, Amir's got a lot left. You know, I, I'll, just, I'll just say this. Uh, the, the best is yet to come. And um, it was an incredible crowd tonight. I have to tell you, it was exciting for me. And uh, my experience here has been tremendous. And... I want to thank Eddie and, and, frankly, the Shaw family who treated me just tremendously, and the people of Walton and Liverpool. I just had a, I had a great time while we were working. It's always fun if you can work hard uh, and have a great time and still be successful. So, boy, I, I'd love to come back again and do it all over again. It, it, was, it, it was a little different, you know, being in the corner. And uh, you had Joe saying, keep your eye on him. Yeah. 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 But I think one of the biggest shocks of the night was not the 39 seconds win, but was that Joe Goosa was out of Denny. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he looks, he looks well. <laughs> well it's unbelievable. Well, I gotta thank uh, Robert, the commissioner, Robert, Davis, Robert Smith. No, Smith no, Robert I'm sorry, Davis. Robert Smith, and for uh, for forcing my hand on it. But you know, we'll see if I can lobby, and maybe yeah. next fight. Well, normally, I just go in wide open uh, and then get caught with silly shots. But so I was seeing further in the fight how I was gonna cope under a little bit of pressure with the with the game plan that. She was coming, but look, um, we go back to the gym, hopefully take a couple of weeks off, I'll be back in the gym again, got Ramadan coming up as well. Um, I'm going to enjoy my break now, and uh, my, my wife's expecting, so hopefully any day now she's going to be popping. Babysitting then, so. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Good timing, good timing. Eddie. Uh, good timing's yeah, been perfect, yeah, yeah, yeah so. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I didn't want to stress the missus out, so I had to get this guy out of the way. Because I thought I can't stress her out. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, look, it's time to go home now and relax. And I'm back. The main thing is, I'm back. People kept tweeting me, messaging me. Um, that I stopped answering questions on Twitter because people kept asking me, When are you fighting again? We want to see you fight again. And I think the best move I made was to join Sky and join Matchroom because this is where I want to be and I want to fight in England more often. Um, still love to fight in America because, you know, that's where the big fights are as well. You can do that too. You can do that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, um, time to now see where the what the next step is and I'm just happy with my performance and I want to thank everyone for turning up and being, being there today. Eddie, not only are you probably one of the best promoters in the world right now, everyone's flocking to you, but you're also a fan of the sport. For you, one fight for Khan, if it was next, what would it be, the next one? Listen, I love the Kel I love the Kel fight. I've always loved the Kelbrook fight. I think it's just... And the only thing, the thing about the Kell Brook fight is he's such a brilliant fight, technically, as well. They're both brilliant, and the styles, the styles are make fights, yeah. yeah. Like, but you know, Kell's like a, a, like a sharp block, but Amy is so fast that they can both punch. It would just, I love putting on huge events, and yeah. that is that's an event. Very I mean, you know, yeah, that's a very robotic. Yeah, yeah. It's very awkward very for me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a robotic and he's a good fighter, he's got fast. But I don't think he'd, he'd, he'd cope with the speed, the movement, and everything. And being a polished up fighter now, you know, I've changed. When I've lost fights, when I've 
made mistakes. I've changed my whole self. Changed my trainer. Mm -hmm. Kel's always stayed there. Kel's always going to be Kel. Limited. He's a good fighter. He's not limited. He's a good fighter. Look, he's, a, he's won the world titles. Respect to him there. So, I mean, if the fight ever happens, it would be big. I mean, look, you can see the, the, the crowd out there, how, how they were cheered, cheering about it. So, let's see, man. Look. Eddie, at this moment in time, is it a stadium by Brook Cowan? Yes, it's a Wembley stadium, but it, it became it tonight, Yeah, to be honest. I mean, it it's always been massive. Like I said, things happen, it becomes, you sort of start thinking, oh, do you just do it in the MEN or do you do it at Bolton? Or, and then after tonight, you just stick it straight in Wembley. It does 90,000 like that. So... We'll see. Right, guys, thank you so much for your support. Well done, Eddie. Thank you. Thanking you for watching this video. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share, comment down below, and do subscribe.